Hello guys, this is Simon Expert, and today we have a question from Waxi from Philippines. So here it is. An anti-aircraft shell is fired upward with the initial speed 488 meters per second. Our task is to find the highest point it can reach, the time needed to reach this point, and the speed of the shell at 40 and 60 seconds after it was fired. Okay, so first of all, we need to choose which direction will be positive. In our case, it is convenient to choose the upward direction as a positive because the shell moves upwards. And now let's begin finding the highest point the shell can reach. For that, we need to recall the kinematic equation. Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2a times h where Vf is the final speed of the shell at the highest point and obviously it is equal to zero because at the highest point there is no kinetic energy of the shell, only potential energy. Vi is the initial speed of the shell and it is given. A is the acceleration and in this case A is actually G which is the free fall acceleration so this is 9.8 meters per second squared and H is the highest point that we're searching for. So from this equation, we can derive h as vf squared minus vi squared over 2a. And this gives us 0 squared minus uh, 488 squared over 2 times 9.8. And here the acceleration is directed downwards, so we need to add negative sign. So this all gives us uh, 12.15 times 10 raised to the third power meters, or 12.15 kilometers. Okay, so here we found the highest point that the shell can reach. Now let's find the time needed to reach this height. For that we need to use another kinematic equation. Vf equals Vi plus At. Again, Vf is the final speed, which is zero. Vi is the initial speed. A is the free fall acceleration. T is obviously the time we're searching for. So from here, T equals Vf minus Vi over A. And this is zero minus 488 over -9.8 and this is equal to 49.8 seconds so we found the highest point that the shell can reach and the time needed to reach this height all right guys so we found the highest point that the shell can reach and the time needed to reach this point and now we need to find the speed of the shell at 40 seconds and 60 seconds. For that, we will use the kinematic equation we used before. Vf equals Vi plus At, where Vf is the final speed, Vi is the initial speed, A is the free fall acceleration, and T is time. So we're searching for the final speed. And when we're searching the speed for 40 seconds, we will insert 40 over here, and for 60, we'll obviously get 60 over here. So this is equal to 488 minus, because the acceleration is directed downwards, 9.8 times 40. And this gives us 96 meters per second. Now the speed at the 60 seconds equals 488 minus 9.8 times 60 and this is equal to negative 100 meters per second and the negative sign over here indicates that the shell reached the highest point and now it moves downwards so this is the speed for the downward movement of the shell at the 60 second Thanks for watching us, stay tuned for updates, goodbye.